Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Paul over here at Styrene Relics. And uh, so I was kind of cleaning up around here a little bit and I've decided that uh, I got some of these boxes, older boxes, and so I'm going to try and maybe do a, a Sunday box art. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I've got some cool box art kits uh, <clears throat> of the older, older stuff. Um, I don't have any of my favorite ones. A uh, perfect example is that, I believe it's a 68 Camaro, uh, and it's a, I don't think it's a funny car, but it's a 68 Camaro at the end of the strip, and he's got the uh, parachute opened up in the back. Uh, it's a close-up of it. I think it's an AMT kit. Man, that one is like my favorite kit box art of all. I just love that stuff. I know you guys, some of the guys have done some box art stuff. Uh, I, I'm just, I've got some of the oddball stuff that doesn't really bring any good looking box art, but it's, uh, it, it's kind of neat in itself. So I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, and, and some of them have kits in them, so I'll open them up and show you those. So, uh, if everything, you know, if it's something you guys are thinking you'd like, like to see more of, then let me know, because we can always do this again. So, starting off, let's, uh. Let's start out with this 65 Bonneville. Um, this is that AMT kit, and uh, they've, they've repopped this several different times. And so this is, I don't know if this is the original. I think it is, though, but it's one of the small boxes. So that's yeah, kind of cool. There's a lot of neat stuff in here. There's the, uh, the kit itself. It has the custom kit, custom build car. So that's kind of cool. I like that a lot. Um, then on the back, it's showing you know all the items that you can get with it. Um, the custom headlights. These go into the uh, the hood, I believe, for the air cleaners and stuff like that. So kind of kind of neat. Here's some different paints, you know, metal flake paints that came with it. Uh, uh, Ewan's yeah, it says Ewan's store dollar twenty nine. <laughs> I think I pronounced that right. U H A N apostrophe S. I don't know. So well, I can't show you this one. I'm sorry, because that's not what's in here. That's that's my sixty uh, El Camino, and that's going to be getting finished up here real soon uh but it comes with a kresge tag on it remember seeing these tags laying on the stores shelves sometimes when they ran out of material they ordered this was one of their order sheets ss kresge warehouse this one says fort wayne indiana uh and it does not have a date on it but for some reason it says Pontiac down at the bottom. So it must, must have had a warehouse in Pontiac coming from Fort Wayne. So that's kind of neat. So, yeah, I thought there was something else in there. And I can't show you that. Sorry. <laughs> so, all right. 57 T-Bird. That's a, that's a cool kit right there. Uh, man, this one is just full of customizing stuff. Uh, in fact, I used uh, a lot of customizing stuff out of this kit onto that little ranchero I did a while back, that little purple one with the gold interior. Uh, and I I need to redo that uh, because that didn't get any justice to it. Uh, I accidentally put that music over it and it screwed it up. But getting back to this, um, I want to build this car here because I still have enough parts left for that uh, for that fastback rooftop. So I'll, I'll be doing that. And uh, showing 10 different ways you can put this kit together now that is pretty cool when you can figure you can you got enough parts in there for 10 different ways so and then here is a lot of the stuff that's come in that box that's pretty cool there's a lot of neat stuff in there you know you got your side pipes over here uh bumperettes antennas different kinds of grills uh it comes with an engine stand uh, a chop top uh, frame around the windshield, continental kit, different kind of bumpers and stuff. 
uh, roof lines, all kinds of neat stuff on this kit. So, and there is not a date on this as well. I thought there was, but there's not. But let me show you what's kind of neat. Um, I got this kit from my brother-in-law a long time ago. And uh, so I, I, need to, I need to put it together. So I'm kind of, there's that roof line I was showing you, telling you about. That's kind of neat, actually, the back glass. I've got all of that in there. The reason I'm kind of leaning towards this is he started, he's already peeked out the headlights. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a, a custom as it is. Uh, and I probably would have anyways. So this is really going to be cool uh, down the road when I get ready to do it. Um, no, it's not this kit. Pretty basic on the bottom. A lot of that stuff was molded in. That's kind of the way they did it back then, you know. You guys have seen those kits. They're, they've been all over the place. So that's how that went. A uh, couple of things here I want to show you. Um, I don't want to get too deep into all the instruction stuff, but these are kind of neat. They show different ways you can build it right off the bat, you know. Uh, and then, let me... You know, the instruction sheets so, look so much different than they do nowadays. I, I, I think so. So, kind of cool. Here's something on the back that's... You guys may have seen these things and not realize what they were. These were uh, deals that you could screw onto the wall or onto a shelf. And then hang your car on these. Kind of like suspended in air. You know, after you work on it for a month or so. And then you want to hang it out there in the middle of air. Knock it off with your shoulder. <laughs> So, <laughs> it ain't me, man. Okay, here's something kind of cool that came in this kit. Uh, 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 flocks. I can't get, get the right word, but it's it's like flocks. Uh, it's it's a little sheet, and uh, and it's got uh, the glue on the back, and it cuts out for the dashboard, and the, uh, down in the floorboard, and the back package tray, and in the seats, and all that kind of stuff. So... Makes it look like carpet and, and texture in there. And it, and it feels like it's still pretty decent. I don't think there's a problem with it. It's probably even got good good sticky on the back. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes with that. Here's something I probably will not use. And that's that's the decal set. Now these are pretty cool decals. But uh, the age, you know, is just kind of at the point now. I could put decal set on it and all that. I've got some of that. I've used it. I've had... 50-50 luck with it. So this one's not been cut or robbed off of. So <clears throat> I've got several of these. So I'm thinking uh, I'll put these into a, uh, a like a, a picture frame and I'll, and I'll hang it on the, on the wall. I've got a bunch of them. I'll put them all together. But this little guy right here, not, that's cool. That is cool right there. I would really like to get some more of that kind of stuff. So yeah, kind of neat. Uh, let's see what all we got. Well, I got a different tail section to go on that T-Bird. I'll probably use this. That's kind of a neat little tail section. Uh, everything else is just stuff that you guys have already seen. So there's no need in dragging it out. So let me put that over there. Get it out of the way. 61 Ford. 61 